In this Blossoms lesson, we will take a look at the differences between salt water and fresh water. And we can begin this investigation by answering a simple question. Will an ice cube melt faster in fresh water or salt water? Atoms and molecules are too small to see or even imagine. But a ping pong ball, that's a particle you can really wrap your head around. And look what just one power of 10 does. Here are six ping pong balls, or six times 10 to the first, or 60 ping pong balls. Here. Wow. Now imagine six times 10 squared, or 600, or six times 10 cubed, 6,000, 60,000. So let's try looking at the problem a different way. Imagine that we start with Avogadro's number of ping pong balls. Let them spill all over the Earth. Would they cover the Earth? One layer deep? Multiple layers deep? Or would they cover Mount Everest? So why is the Pythagorean theorem so important? How could that enable ancient Egyptian surveyors using just a rope to construct a right angle and reestablish property boundaries after the annual Nile River flood? What strategy could you come up with to form a right angle given just a piece of string and a marker? How do electromagnets work? How are they similar or different from natural magnets? What does the field of an electromagnet look like? You can create an electromagnet by coiling wire around a cardboard tube or a steel bolt. Let's take a break and do some experimentation with electromagnets. Now when I say time, you may think hours, days, weeks, years. But in the context of evolution, we mean tens of thousands of years. Humans, Homo sapiens, have been on this earth for the last 120,000 years or so. Now you're going to do an activity to simulate how natural selection works on a population. You're going to see how some traits based on environment are able to survive and some are not. For the next activity, you will work in groups to develop a flowchart for this Tai Tai Fisheries case study. You will have to analyze the case study in terms of the causes, effects, possible solutions, and identify negative and positive tipping points. Aren't flowers amazing and beautiful? Why do they appeal to us so much? And why, when we think of plants, we think of flowers? Do flowers play another role in the life of a plant? Let's see what you know and think about flowers. For the next activity, you're going to trace the path of energy as it moves through our Thanksgiving food web. The goal is to document the changes in form as energy moves from the sun to the human guests at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Imagine you and two friends are shipwrecked on an island. There's plenty of fresh water and enough firewood for cooking your meals. But the only food you have is one dairy cow and 1,000 pounds of grain. You want to survive as long as possible, and it's not possible to plant anything. You have to choose. We both want to thank you very much for choosing this lesson and taking the time to do this with your students. We also appreciate any comments that you might have, and comments can be left for us on the Blossoms website. Mm -hmm.